بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو انوینٹری مینجمنٹ پورٹل آن کور پی ایچ پی اینڈ مائی ایس کیو ایل اینڈ دس از علی رضا اینڈ ٹوڈے آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو ٹیل یو اباؤٹ سم آف دا ڈیزائننگ اسٹف ود رسپیکٹ ٹو دی لاگ ان پیج سو گائز ایوری تھنگ از کمنگ ان بٹوین اینڈ دس از واٹ این ایپلیکیشن از آل اباؤٹ اینڈ این ایپلیکیشن ڈیولپمنٹ از نتھنگ ٹو ڈیل ود اے سنگل پرسن بٹ آف کورس ان ٹیچنگ وی آئی شوڈ بی دا ون دیٹ آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو سی ایوری تھنگ uh mix mode together sometime we see the database sometime we see the design sometime we see the uh, relationship some sometime we see the communication between the php application and the uh, database also so uh, i've decided to create a login page today so that you can be able to know or uh, get a flavor of php also so that uh, you can be able to uh, get interest in this application so uh, in the previous lecture i have demonstrated you how to start in getting start with the database so let's start and have a look what we have today all right guys you can see here uh, i have a new page right now i'm creating and it should be php and html5 and create okay so of course we are creating an application so i'm going to incorporate bootstraps and jquery's also uh, at my level best so let us save this name as authenticate and the name of the page should be authenticate and then try to give names that are more sophisticated okay and try to give names that are without spaces and without special characters except underscore so uh, save it that's my authenticate.php and here give you the give the title that is login and here uh, you have to specify your php so in order to specify php you have to open your php markers something like this and within these markers you can be able to write your php scripts i hope it is clear one more thing that i have to do here is to specify the bootstrap for that purpose i am specifying the link tag that is uh, is used for to connect your external uh, bootstrap so link relation style sheet and href and then i will browse my bootstrap so let's go and download the bootstrap as well all right so uh, simply write here bootstrap and you will be redirected via google to the uh, official bootstrap website and download the latest version that is 4.4.1 and then click download okay uh, a, a bunch of files will be downloaded when you click okay uh, one more thing before download starts uh, you can specify the cdn as well that is the online path for the uh, bootstrap to download quickly but uh it depends on your requirements whether you need an online bootstrap that that requires every time when you start your page or you wanted to download completely so click on the download button so that your bootstrap will be downloaded you can see it is downloading okay now what what i can do i can simply open this bootstrap and get my necessary files and uh, put those files into my directory structure that's what uh, that's how simple is that bootstrap is a framework basically that makes that helps you to create responsive and easy to use web applications okay or websites you can say so zamp st docs and that's my php inventory portal and here i'm pasting right now for the current time being and extract it here okay so folder is there now i'm removing this because i have got my folder and here you can see there are two folders uh, let me zoom it okay so css and jquery so go in css click on the type so that the things get arranged and here you can see every bootstrap has two files one is the minified version and one is the non minified version uh, and see the difference between the minified and the non minified version the size uh, constraint uh, the the normal bootstrap is 193 kb but the minified version is 156 kb so if you are a size specific person and you wanted to reduce your application size you can you simply use this these minified versions okay uh, rather than these complete versions but in the end both are same so what you can do you can simply copy these three cascading style sheets and leave rest of the things copy just and then go to your inventory portal go back to the styles folder and paste it here so you have get your bootstrap files and now let's go back to the js folder and just click on the type so that the th things are arranged and here you can see the minified version and the non minified version uh, the minified minified version is basically the non understandable version and uh, there are no spaces uh, everything is line by line and in the non minified version everything is properly structured line by line with proper comments so you can be able to understand the code what's basically written in, inside these files but if you are a pro and you are a professional uh, and you don't need to go into the depths of the jquery so uh, simply you can utilize the 
uh, minified version that's it so let's pick up the minified version for bootstrap jquery and the bundle.min so let's copy these two things and go back to the inventory portal and the scripts folder i have created already in the previous lectures i have pasted these two things here now my directory is set up now what i will do i will simply come here and open my uh, browse folder uh, with the help of the browse i'll open my scripts folder and uh, sorry uh, my styles folder because i'm going to connect my css first so right now for the current time being we only require this bootstrap.min uh, and these are also can be utilized if you wish to with respect to the purposes so bootstrap.min if you specify the jquery also for the bootstrap you can specify that with the help of the script and script src browse and then uh, you have to specify the script that is bootstrap.min but before uh, using this script you should have uh, the jquery also within your uh, file okay so uh, it's it's better for you to get these things uh, script and script close so uh, you have to add jquery also so let's download the jquery from the browser so uh, jquery you can use the cdn version without download but i'm i recommend you right now for this project just download it so that uh, it uh, without internet can be accessible okay so you can see the compressed and the uncompressed version so let's download the compressed version you can see what's compressed version is and if i click on the uh, uncompressed version you can see the difference it is arranged that's it and that's why the size of the uncompressed is larger than the compressed version so just click on this and right click here and save as uh, do not change the name let's go back to the c drive and the zamp folder where is that zamp and htdocs and your inventory portal and scripts and save so jquery is the base for utilizing jquery within your application so here you have to specify script src and then you can specify browse and select your jquery because whenever you use sub parts of the jquery jquery should be added inside the page otherwise this bootstrap jquery will not run i hope it is clear guys these referencing are very references are very important now uh, the next step is to create something uh, for login so right now i'm removing php uh, and specifying here h1 and before specifying h1 i'm creating here a div and div close to make it a responsive application for that purpose i'm creating a container uh, that's a bootstrap class that makes my uh, page body responsive this is responsive you can use this container in the body as well and then we can add here um, h1 tag h1 close specify text align class equals to text align so you can see everything is created i just i am just using the bootstrap and um, right here inventory portal okay and then uh, specify the horizontal rule that is the line and then specify h4 tag that should be text align center so copy it i'm just designing this is how you can do i'm not a good designer but whatever i can do i can do for you guys so um, right here and all in tagline basically an all in one solution for inventory on web that's it and save it and come here and then one thing that you have to specify here is another div because bootstrap is a grid system and your page is divided into 12 columns so we have to specify those columns so class equals to call size that should become 8 in this case and the offset should be the uh, 2 uh, this means that uh, your overall length of the div is 8 uh, size uh, out of 12 and um, two columns are skipped from the beginning of the page i hope it is clear to everyone so 8 plus 2 is 10 and then 2 at the end two columns are skipped from the beginning then 8 is the size of this div and then rest 2 at the end will be skipped i hope it is clear guys if you don't understand you can comment me out i'll explain it no problem so uh, make it arrange now so i have a specified call 8 for this and 
now what I can do I can um, specify after this another um, division and here I am specifying the class again that is column size 8 okay a sub div and here I am specifying um, form tag and action that should be blank right now and method that should be post in this case and inside this form I am specifying another div because this is designing guys sorry for so many divs so div and here we can specify the class that is form group because we are creating a form right now so form group and come inside and specify now your label final step and here you can specify username and then specify input type equals to text that's a normal text box and then name of this text should be user txt and uh, placeholder that is example Ali okay and then close it and then uh, give it a class that is form control okay so that's my one step for my first uh, type of data that I'm going to pick up then I need a password field so I have copied and pasted the same but I'm changing the label that is password and input type equal to password okay and it should be uh, password text and uh, you can specify any placeholder or you can specify the minimum length okay so minimum six characters let's say a uh, placeholder that you have specified and now uh, save this and again come here and paste it and here you need a button so don't need a label for the button form group should be there input type equal to submit because we are in the uh, PHP mode and the name of the button should be SUBMIT BTN submit button placeholder should not be there and the value on the button should be login and the class should not be the form control instead because we are using bootstrap we have a BTN class in the BTN class I'm using the BTN dark class and the call size of this button column 12 column 12 means the full size uh, within the container I hope it is clear so uh, save this and let's uh, try to execute this page what is the output after so much efforts so you can see everything is uh, so much uh, uh, big let us zoom out it now that's perfect okay so you can see uh, these columns uh, or this thing is not coming in the center but all the things are coming in the center so we have to make sure uh, why these are not coming in the center so uh, this is my um, call at yes this is the problem offset to and save I haven't skipped so you, you see the benefit of offset uh, save here and then come here so offset skips two columns from the beginning so you can see now okay I hope it is clear to everyone guys and when I reduce the size you can see the website is responsive and everything is remains in the middle of the page whenever I reduce or increase the size now uh, let's remove this h4 and make it h6 because that heading was tagline should not be too big save here and come here and refresh now that's fine okay and now if you wish to specify uh, a margin uh, from the top uh, the, you can do that as well uh, that means that I have to specify margin here because after this h6 I want some space so what I can do I can specify an inline styling so you can see everything is possible in web designing and web development so you can specify margin top and 30 px let's say and save here and come here and refresh you can see 30 is a little difference so let's add it 100 save here and come here and refresh so I hope guys you have understood so when somebody tries to open this it will he will or she will get uh, something like that that's all uh, so 
this is how we can design we have a specified uh, uh, portal uh, login page so uh, I am expecting from you guys to try by yourself and uh, do uh, necessary download all the scripts and the bootstraps that that are required and design your login page by yourself so if you don't understand anything guys please do write me in the comments and if you haven't subscribed my channel uh, do it right now and do press the bell icon so that you will never miss my upcoming lectures on uh, the technology that i'm teaching so thank you so much take care allah hafiz